Hey, Lamar Scholl here. So you're probably watching this video. Maybe you already know a little bit about gold and silver. Maybe you want to know a little bit more. Well, one of the things I want to show you near the end of this video is what I use to buy my gold and silver. It's not going direct to like a, you know some website online and just ordering you know a couple couple of these silver eagles or maybe gold eagle coins. Now this has a whole business wrapped around it, a whole marketing system around it. By the way, the marketing system is really really cool. You know why I like it? I don't have to do any of the selling. It's done for me, and I got so educated on gold and silver going through the training the other day I was amazed and that's what prompted me to do this video but man I'm telling you I'm starting to really like the stuff so I've got I'm gonna do this part really quick I've got 10 reasons why you should be buying gold and silver today look gold has a long history of storing value and what this means is the Egyptians knew this 5,000 years ago. They didn't exactly have coins back then, but they were trading gold and silver for different things that they needed, food or clothing. And it wasn't, you know, like I said, they didn't have coins. Coins didn't come into, well, they've been around for a long time, but from 5,000 years ago, it took quite a while, a few thousand years after that, coins came in but gold today is worth practically the same value it was 5,000 years ago where the currencies around the world well they're just less and less it's it's probably even less than the paper that it's printed on that's number one number two gold is a great hedge during inflationary periods so what this means is any kind of hard asset, like a home, um, a car, not the daily driver, but if you have a car that's kept nice, you know, an antique or something, these are hard, or painting, right? These are art, these are hard assets. Gold and silver definitely go up during inflationary times. And what inflation means is, you know, that paper money we all have whether it's a credit card or debit card like i said they just don't buy what they used to number three gold the big jewelry demand is increasing in china and india especially around this time of year number four look the world gold supply it is it's just simply shrinking it's not getting big bigger the, you know the mining companies right like it's harder there's like no new gold deposits being found we essentially pretty much have most of these gold mining you know the mining operations are there there's no new ones now they might have land that they haven't gotten to yet right but it's not much and gold gold mining is really really expensive as well you know it just cost a lot these aren't like in convenient places to get to first of all right they're out of the way all the easy gold you know like you see in the old days panning in the stream long gone right so now you got to get these big big excavators these big trucks in there that stuff cost a lot of money right and you know go global government debt is just simply increasing around the world all over the governments around the world what are they doing they're printing money the more money out there they have to print more money to pay for the debt they can't stop paying i mean they have to pay that debt it keeps coming due and the way they do that is keep printing money and every time they print money the same money you're holding yeah it becomes well worth a little bit less than it was the other day this is why gold and silver, they maintain their value. And guess what? Even the central banks, this is number six, the central banks, you know what they're doing? They're adding more to their bullion reserves. That's right, because they know 
the same central banks that are responsible for you, <laughs> the money system in your country, right? Are like, ah, I think we're going to start beefing up the, uh, the old intake of gold. Start building up our reserves a little bit more. And, you know, the other thing, since gold, like, typically is priced against the U.S. dollar, this isn't as, it's still common, but not nearly like it used to be, because people are getting smart around the world, right? But because gold, what it does, as the dollar's been going down since, you know, like a long time now, since the 30s, the price of gold is actually going up, right? And gold is always inversely proportional to the US dollar. So that that almighty dollar keeps dropping, gold's just gonna keep going up, right? Um, negative interest rates are around right now. This is another reason, right? People aren't gonna put their money, you know, in the bank. So gold is a perfect option for them to do that. The other thing is, you know, bullion or like gold and silver bullion have always like been a safe haven, they call it, during times of like political instability or when there's a lot of fear and worry, you know, or even things like, you know, hit, hit us last year. You know, like I, I think if I remember right, the gold chart was going up last year. I could be wrong though, but um, but it's when times like that come, right? People will start going to buy more gold and silver. And again, you know, like if you're you, if you are an investor, you know how important diversification is. This is number ten. Having gold and silver in your portfolio is definitely one of the best best ideas you know you, everybody should have it no matter how much you love bitcoin or whatever it is you never want to put all your eggs in one basket right so you definitely should have just be diversified you need some of everything right whether it's like even bonds right now even though interest rates may be going up nobody really knows nobody knows where the price of gold's gonna go you know like i would ask you do you think it's gonna go up I mean, nobody knows, right? But you know one thing that really woke me up is this training. That's what I was telling you about earlier when I began this video. How would you like to see the same training that I went through? I'm gonna show you right now. Let me uh, I gotta see if I can do this. I don't even, I don't know if I can do this again. I'm gonna share my screen here. We'll see how well this goes. All right, you should be looking here. This training here, it, it's amazing for two reasons. One, the beginning, well, not the beginning part. I'm going to skip step one and step two here. But step three, this is what really woke me up about gold and silver. And this training through here, it actually starts here on the second step or the, right here. So you look at one through seven right here. So that's two through eight on these actual episodes or whatever within this step three. This training is amazing. Even if you're not like, like I'm not a big investor real well. I mean, I am, but even if you're not, the language in here and the way it's explained, trust me, every single person will understand this. and. I think if you don't know much about gold and silver, it would be like behoove you to go through this training. This is pretty cool because it literally is broken down. I, I'm trying to, I don't want to talk about too much because I want you to find out for yourself. So the idea of why you would want to go through this training is what do you think the price of gold and silver are going to do in the future? I think after this training, I think you and me would be both in agreement that, yeah, I think it's going to go up. We may not know how much, but I believe it is going to go up. And this is kind of a little, this is a little scary to hear or watch, but you really have to know about it, right? This is definitely, definitely a must. So what else is in here? I didn't really explain any of this because this is not really what the video is about. But right now, this is a 
system here. It's called Wealth Autopilot. It's a marketing system for a gold and silver company. So the same company you can go to, I go to this all the time to buy my gold and silver coins. Now I can also, and I do promote the same company, which is really awesome. So as I'm earning money in this company, I can also save and buy gold and silver. Most, I shouldn't say most of it, some of it is at dealer direct prices. Now, this is all really, really cool. And the, the rest of this training here, I'm not gonna go into it on this video because I've done other videos on my channel where I do, and I, this video is going on a little too long already. I just want to really emphasize the importance of owning gold and silver today. But the rest of this training explains how to start, how to create your own company and where to start, what to do. And it literally is easy in a step-by-step -step fashion. And when you do come in here, you don't want to skip. You want to start from the beginning and go through all the different steps here and it shows you how to rank up in this system and i'm telling you you're going to learn a lot from that but in step three i read i read i watched these videos three times now it took me a while like because i watched maybe 15 minutes to a half hour at a time and i literally took notes and i kept going back through here and just realizing how important it is to own gold and silver. And I know, like, I know I was scared, right? How do you, you know, it's a trust thing, right? Like, oh man, you know, like, where do I buy gold and silver? You know what I would do is just click on that link down below. Just check it out yourself and see what you think. And you're probably like me. You're going to search on the internet as well and see what other options are out there you know what that's what you absolutely want to do but if you're looking to start creating a company where you can earn money weekly and at the same time save gold and silver by the way well the gold and silver bullion if you just want to purchase that guess what they store it for you for free just just in that Go, go find out how much it costs if you want to have your gold and silver stored somewhere. How much the monthly fee is. It's going to be a lot higher than you think. And it's going to definitely be higher than free. But that's not the only reason why you should come and look at this. But this is something really, really interesting. And... Like I said, step three, going through here, it's not so much of things for you to do. It's actually things for you to learn and really understand. And like I said, it didn't go down to a geek level. It was very, very clear. And you're probably going to be like me. You're going to have to watch it more than once because that's the main reason why you should be buying gold and silver now even if you don't use that link below that's okay i hope that you at least get out of this video the importance of gold and silver so i gave you the 10 reasons down below i'm going to put them real quick in this description of this video i'm going to save you the trouble of having to watch that video again you can just go down and read the 10 reasons right down below here hey my name's lamar show hey just check me out lamarshow.com that's the website if you enjoyed this video hit that subscribe button also you know what do me a little favor and you know smash that look give that little like button a little smash all right i'll see you on the next one